the standard Aggies solution. So today we're going to do an install on a Case IH Steiger 370 quad row track. Uh, this is a tier 4 final uh, engine in this tractor. Our module for this 8.7 liter Beko is our 6870B injector driver module. Uh, with this module you can expect to see up to 30% more horsepower as well as up to 20% more fuel savings. So we're going to go through our, some of our key points and key areas where we're going to be mounting this module at. Uh, it's relatively simple. Uh, right here you'll see that we'll have a power and ground strap in order to uh, power the module on. We're going to go to the alternator for power as listed in the install instructions and then we'll go to the AC compressor bolt which mounts to the engine for a ground. Uh, just to touch base on these vehicles like we do every time, ensure that you have a clean power and ground that is very crucial on these. Uh, make sure that there's no painted surfaces on your ground area or coming in contact uh, in a remote area either. Uh, our primary connector on this is the ECM connector. As you can see, it's a Bosch ECM. And you will be working with the bottom female connector going into the male pins on the male portion of the ECM. So as you can see, this latches. So, with it being installed, it would be latched as such. It's best when taking this off and loosening the latch to remove it, kind of wiggle it. That'll help uh, the latch release a little bit easier. Uh, then we'll go ahead and take the female portion of our harness. As you can see, make sure the latch is out. And we'll now go in to the factory location on the east side. lined up and shouldn't have any issues. There we go. As I said it also may help to wiggle it as you push in on the connector as well. Uh, just a little tech tip during this install process on the alternator you'll see that uh, right in the way of that the harness for the ECM comes down so to make it a little bit easier in this install process, leave the female portion of the factory ECM harness off. That will allow you to better get to that 13 millimeter nut on the alternator for the power. So we'll go ahead and do that first uh, before we take the female portion of the ECM connector going to the male portion of our harness. We've now got the power and ground mounted on this module. As you can see, we got it mounted securely. Uh, this bolt for the ground is 13 millimeter as well as the nut on the alternator is 13 millimeter. We got the power ran to the alternator. They got the ground ran to the AC compressor, and as I stated earlier, we did have to take a knife and clean some of this paint off to make that uh, shiny for a good ground. So now that we've got that done, we'll go ahead and complete this install by taking the female portion of the factory ECM harness. Also make sure that when uh, unhooking this from the ECM that the latch doesn't get out of track. If that happens, it can affect how that seat's going to our harness. You may have to re-index that to make it work properly. Um, but this one came apart just fine, so of course it's fully released. And it'll only go in one way, so if it doesn't want to go, then don't force it. So we've got that indexed in. As you can see, it got in tracked. And that is it. It is latched securely. And uh, everything's good. Good, tight, secure connection. So that finishes up the install for this IV6870B module. And thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, we're going to go through and tie everything up as well, but I uh, wanted to thank you guys for joining us. Be sure to check us out on our website, agdiesolutions.com, as well as our YouTube page where you can find more videos such as this one. And then also be sure to check us out on our social media sites such as Facebook and Instagram. I want to thank you guys for joining us today, and always remember to farm smart, farm efficient, farm with Solutions modules. Thank you guys, and have a great day.